How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. Going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 6 GM with the Red Snow 0.913 Dev 4. As you can see, I am running iOS 6, the GM version. What you need to do first of all is to go ahead and place your device into DFU mode. Now you guys know how to do this by now. Hold home and power for 10 seconds, release the power button, continue holding home for 10 additional seconds, and then your device should stay black, a black screen sort of like this right here so 10 more seconds uh i guess five seconds have passed uh, three two one zero okay that should do it all right so now we're at a black screen here that is dfu mode so we're good to go on that end now back to our uh, desktop here you see 0 0.913 def 4 you see ipod touch 4g connected this is red snow of course you want to go to extra select ipsw and select the ios 6 gm firmware there it is right here you need that download it onto your desktop obviously go ahead and open it should successfully identify that firmware you have to do this in order to jailbreak go back click on jailbreak it'll go through the process of actually preparing the jailbreak now you should see this screen install ssh make sure that at least is checked and click next it'll go through the exploitation and this is pretty much the entire process right here you're pretty much done except for the tethered boot because this is a tethered jailbreak so all you really need to do now is just to be patient show some show some patience and wait for this thing to complete again since this is a tethered jailbreak you'll receive a message here that says this is a tethered jailbreak so it's just warning you that if you want to reboot your device you have to boot tether in order to do so so now we're done with this. You can just keep this screen on and head over to our device. You should see the matrix mode scrolling through. This is what we normally see when we jailbreak. That's fine. It looks good and good and fine. And it should go through here, installing bundles and then eventually rebooting your device just like that. So again, I've sped this process up a little bit. It'll take a little bit longer on your device, but it shouldn't take too long. Now you're, we're back at our lock screen. We can go ahead and unlock our device. Again, you won't see Cydia here because this is for developers only. This is this will only install SSH. You, you can connect with a terminal client to your device in order to install stuff like that. Now we need to go ahead and perform our tethered boot. So on Red Snow, you can just go ahead and click back there. You should see just boot at the top. But first of all, before you even do anything with that, head back to your device, place your device back in the DFU mode. You know the deal again. Hold home and power for 10 seconds. Release the power button after 10 seconds are up and then continue holding the home button for 10 additional seconds. And then your screen should just be exactly like it was at first, completely black. And then we can head back over to Red Snow to finish up this whole jailbreak process. Now we're in DFU mode, let's head back over, click on just boot on, under the extras menu in Red Snow. You don't have to do anything else, just click just boot. It'll exploit with Lime Rain, all that jazz. And then again, you'll see something familiar. You'll see the little pineapple logo on your device here in just a second here. Let's head over to our device and let's show you that little pineapple logo that'll load up here in just a second. Right there, there we go. So we know that we are booting tethered right now and we're good to go. This is what you'll see on Red Snow, of course, patching files and things like that. But basically the entire process is completed now. You should see done on Red Snow. You'll still see your pineapple logo here. If you head back over to Red Snow, you can go ahead and cancel that out. We're done with it. We are done with Red Snow. And now let's just wait until that pineapple logo goes away and it goes back to our lock screen, in which case we are completely finished with this tethered jailbreak for iOS 6 GM. Again, it does not install Cydia but you can SSH into your device and install things that way. This is only for developers, so just keep that in mind. Once the uh, final version of iOS 6 is released, I'm sure a jailbreak will follow with Cydia support, so stay tuned to iDownload Blog. We'll have more coverage on this in the very near future. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.